Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this May 23rd. Here we go into the final week of May and upcoming Memorial Day weekend. Just one week away. Actually, the weekend starts, well, Friday and uh, Memorial Day a week from today. And it looks like it's going to be warm and muggy but also unsettled throughout that time. Looking back at your Sunday, turned out to be a great day. Lots of sunshine and a high of 80, a few clouds now and then. 79, the average high, so we were one degree above average. 48 was our low, 57 the average low, so we were nine degrees actually below the average for that one. A year ago, we had a high of 75 and a low of 42 back in 2015. No rainfall past 24 hours. We're holding at 4.43 for the month of May. Uh, That gives us a surplus of 39 hundredths of an inch. So we're looking good now for the month of May. But year to date, we still have a deficit of an even four inches. But as you'll hear coming up in the seven-day forecast... Uh, Rain chances are still there, if not only afternoon-type evening thunderstorms. Very summer-like pattern is setting up for us over the coming days. In fact, what we call a Bermuda high, very typical of summer, more like uh, June, July, August, uh, setting up for our area. And that's going to keep us warm. It's going to keep us sunny during the day. But by late afternoon, there is a good chance we could see some showers and thunderstorms, and any of those could bring us some uh, pockets of heavy rain and gusty winds. It's going to be a very, very summer-like pattern over the next few days. Sunny and warm today, high pressure still in control, a high of 81. Clear and mild tonight, down to 54. As we get into Tuesday, mostly sunny, warm And uh, a little bit more humidity coming back into play. Not so much today, but certainly tomorrow. And we'll see a high at 85. Now, as we get into Wednesday, even warmer and more muggy conditions start to take hold. And that will begin the pattern of an all, really a daily chance of seeing a shower or thunderstorm, especially during the heat of the afternoon and early evening. And then Usually after the sun goes down, these uh, thunderstorms collapse. They don't have anything to feed off of, and they just fall apart. It is going to be that way from Wednesday all the way through the upcoming holiday weekend and into Memorial Day itself. So listen to the numbers, though. Wednesday, a 30% chance of a late-day shower thunderstorm, 88. Yeah, 88 It's going to feel like it's 90, 91, maybe 92 in some cases. Thursday, partly sunny, warm, and muggy. A 40% chance of an afternoon shower thunderstorm, 85. Friday, the same thing, exact numbers, 85 and 66, the overnight low. Continued 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms on Saturday with a high of 84. Sunday, 30% chance of a shower or thunderstorm, warm and muggy, with a high of 87. And that takes us through the seven days. But the outlook for Monday, Memorial Day, scattered showers and a few thunderstorms, hot and muggy. For the first time this year, we could actually hit 90 on Memorial Day. It is possible. It is uh, uh, looking like it's uh, going to be very easily done. So the bottom line here, it's going to turn warm and it's going to turn muggy and humid. And there will be a daily chance of a shower or thunderstorm, especially from Wednesday all the way through Memorial Day. So if, you're, <laughs> if you've been wanting summer, you're going to get it. And it's starting this week. Uh, The uh, very chilly, raw, kind of damp and cool days we've had in May, those are going away. And now we're going to set us up for a pattern, a very active pattern, uh, that's going to take us into, uh, well, it's just snap your fingers and summer's here. It's kind of going to be that way. 
All right, that'll do it. Short and sweet for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. And then join me later today for my radio show, Classic Hits Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m.